the basic for the film is, is a book by Matt Bagley, an American journalist who lives in Rome. And he met an American priest that went to Rome to take part of the Vatican schools for exorcists. And that inspired Matt to, to write the book, and, which is a journalistic piece, not a novel, about this priest and about the fact that it actually exists, a school for exorcists that the Vatican runs, which is very interesting. It's been going on for a few years. So that's, that's the basic for the movie, and, and that's, that's all real, that's all reality. And then obviously, you know, uh, Michael Petroni wrote the script inspired by, by this journalistic piece, and, and, and doing that, he had to put in a narrative that worked for a movie, so we obviously dramatized some of it, but, but uh, the, main, the main part is, is based on these true events. We obviously had to go and shoot in Rome, so we sh in, in Rome too. So we shot some of the big exteriors in Rome. Budapest is great because it can double for a lot of cities. It can double for Moscow. It can double for Stockholm. Whatever you whatever you need. So, and we were you know we wanted places in Rome that necessarily was not the, the, the big tourist attraction. So back streets and, and and dodgy apartments and so on. And a lot of that we could find in a great way in. In, in Budapest, we obviously shot a lot of stage shows in Budapest, but we looked at different cities in Europe, but we came to the conclusion that Budapest really worked well for, for, for this movie. It was funny because in the in the film in the script, uh, Father Michael is, is in Rome, and he's uh, and at one point in the film we have to go home. But but uh, something happens. The weather closes down the airport, and, and he, he can't he can't leave going back to America. So uh, when Colin, who plays Father Michael in the film, went to Rome to to try costume, the 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 volcano thing happened. So as the priest in the film, Colin, the actor playing the priest, was stuck in Rome for a couple of weeks waiting for this volcano thing to blow over. So that was an interesting parallel, and that actually made me put the volcano incident into the film. And so that's now the reason why Michael in the film can't leave Rome. It's because of the volcano uh, that, that grounds all the airplanes. So reality, we took a bit of reality and, and put in the film that way. Yes, absolutely. And I think a lot of people agree. I mean, this. Uh, 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 the world of spirits and demons. I mean, we, we can see them in, in a lot of different cultures, uh, historically also. And, and uh, I think in our technological, organized world, uh, uh, the unknown, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a big source for, of, of interest for, for people, uh, especially now in our age and time, I would think. So what can't be explained easily is always interesting, like UFOs or aliens and things like that, that people maybe believe or believe not in, but they are definitely interested in it because it's have to do with the unknown, like uh, uh, ingredients in our movie, obviously. You can imagine yourself for Colin, he, as you say, he's, he's done a little bit of television, but it was his first uh, part in the movie, and you can imagine the first day acting uh, against the great Anthony Hopkins. Uh, it worked very much thanks to, to, to Anthony being so gracious to, to Colin. I mean, obviously Anthony understood the pressure that Colin was under, and he could really read his nervousness. Uh, but Colin was also very grounded, but, but Anthony was so generous and so helpful, gave him self-confidence, and, and, and they became they became really, really, really sweet friends very short, in a very short amount of time.